$250 collector boxes, $300 draft boxes, and almost $400 bucks for the set box, Commander Masters is going to put a large strain on the wallet of regular enthusiasts like you and me all across the Magic community. But what if I told you there's evidence of another set that shows us Commander Masters is actually going to be fantastic for our budget? Let's talk about it. When Commander Masters is brought up in casual conversation, I assume most regular enthusiast brain does the same thing mine does. I think, wow, this is clearly an extremely premium set. The boxes all can command an extremely high price point, and we don't really know what the meat and potatoes of what's in the box is yet, so I find myself a bit skeptical. But it's safe to say the community is not only hyped, but people are willing to buy this product. And with some of the previews we've gotten, we know there's some insane chase inside these boxes. Now, with this information, there's actually a very successful and recent Magic the Othering set that has debuted that Commander Masters has the opportunity to follow in its footsteps. And if Commander Masters does this, it's going to be a massive win for regular enthusiasts like you and me and anyone trying to play Commander on a budget. So today, we're going to talk about Commander Masters, some of the new news that we got, but I'm going to spend most of the time comparing Commander Masters to a recent and very successful Magic the Gathering set. I'm going to tell you how this could benefit regular enthusiasts like you and me, and most importantly, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing as far as my personal collection, the kind of things I'm collecting and what I'm doing right now. I'll do that, uh, we got a live stream to announce, but we'll get into that here in a minute. We got some news for Commander Masters, and the big piece of news that we got is the showing off of the textured uh, jump at you borderless foil break breakthrough breakout foil whatever they're calling and we saw the jeweled lotus and we saw the portrait version of the Ur dragon i think it's safe to say that these are ridiculously good looking magic cards these cards look in Sane. In fact, this might be the coolest magic card I've seen in some time. And it's clear that Commander Masters is going to offer some kind of chase in these premium boxes. Now, there's a bunch of speculation going around about the regular SKUs, the draft set and collector boxes. And the main speculation falls into the the slot of the set box and what's going to be in that list slot. You know, there's a, uh, there's a small corner of the internet out there talking about dual lands and other reserved list cards in the list slot. I don't fall into that, but it's really fun just to talk about that speculation. I don't fall into that camp, but again, I think it's funny. We also saw that there are commanders for the commander decks. Now, the commander decks are a bit expensive. I wish they were more a little bit more affordable, but each one having 10 unique cards means that these decks, I think, hold up extremely well. I'm excited to get my hands on them, not only play them, but I think in the long run, this isn't a bad idea to like keep around and if you want a sealed product to either open and enjoy at a later date and to, and to kind of just have on your shelf. These are not a bad idea for that, in my opinion, for myself. This isn't advice for you. That's just something I'm thinking for myself. But we also see that there are different versions of these commanders that people have an opportunity to fall in love with, and those will have to be sought out in what seems like the collector box. It hasn't been announced, but that seems to be the most likely spot for that. And with all of this chase being pushed into the collector box, I see a direct parallel that we could follow that tell us how Commander Masters might go for those of us looking to experience the set on a bit tighter of a budget. Now, Commander Masters is something that's going to command a high price point. We've talked about it. There's going to be crazy reprints, a bunch of wild cards in the set. And when those cards drop, they are going to command a, you know, a high price point. It's just going to be what it is. But if the chase catches the attention of the magic community, we could see more of these boxes opened than we anticipated. And because of this, we, there should be more cards on the open market as commander is not only a singleton format, but often people only keep one version of the card instead of you know, getting multiple versions for a deck, you just have one version of a card and you move it through multiple decks. Now we've seen recently with the introduction of serialized cards in the Brothers War and March of the Machine that not only does chase matter, but it drastically affects how we engage with the rest of the set. The Brothers War and March of the Machine are still both collector boxes that are selling extremely well as far as Magic the Gathering product goes. Most Magic sales stop right almost right at release or so, you know, trickle down, but these sets still sell extremely well and we still seem to want to chase down these cards. And because of that, other playable and fantastic cards that are in the set can be purchased by regular enthusiasts at an extremely affordable rate. Take the Halo Foil Companions for that matter. I just bought a full set of Halo Foil Companions 
off TCG Player and didn't pay too much for any of the cards. Now, I will talk more about this and the 200 other cards I just bought off TCG Player to start building a personal collection of a specific type on Friday Morning Magic, my live stream tomorrow morning. Make sure you're subbed. You have notifications on for that one. That's going to be a good time. But I really think we can see a lot of that parallel for the chase causing people to open collector boxes and flood the market with these cards in Commander Masters. Now, this is also going to do something outside of people who just want to play the cards. I think this is going to open up that middle tier to people who want to collect certain cards. I just mentioned the Halo Foil Companions, and that's like a little mini collection. It's something I've always wanted to have around. I might collect a playset going on, put them all in a binder. But I think that opportunity is going to be here for Commander Masters as well. Not just collecting the high-end, crazy, serialized, full art, blast-off, textured foil, but that middle tier. Maybe you want every commander from the set in its etched foil treatment maybe you want every commander from the set in its borderless treatment maybe you want all the humans whatever it is however you choose to build a collection and engage with the product i think this is going to create a lot of opportunity for you an opportunity can be a lot of fun for regular enthusiasts we cannot spend as much money as we thought we were going to have to and really get in there and build something that we're proud of and brings us a lot of joy now will this grow in financial value and all that and can i put it on my shelf and send my kids to college no, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about engaging with the product in an affordable way that will bring you a lot of happiness and joy in the future. And I think if these chases hit and people want to track these cards down, there's a ton of opportunity for that in this set. And in fact, I want to ask you, if this is the case, will you look to collect some card that's maybe under $10, a set of cards that are all under $20, whatever it might be? Is that something you are interested in looking to add to your collection to be proud of? Personally, I enjoy stuff like that. I think it's fun. I think it's a neat way to engage with collecting in the hobby in your free time. And with Commander Masters, I really think there's a lot of opportunity for that. Now, there's a bunch of unknowns here as well, right? If the community doesn't take to that chase, Man, oh man, this could 100% get rough and we could see the set do extremely poorly and sit on a lot of shelves and it sucks, but game stores have to take that risk, I guess, and it's, I guess that's their lot in life. So if you are going to pick up Commander Masters when you do and you don't have a local game store, you can visit MinMax Games in the description of this video. They sell all Magic product all the time and they do it at the best price on the internet. They are fantastic. They are for the enthusiast. They are for the player and the community. And that is something that I love about them so much, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. If you like this video and you're not yet, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. It's the best thing you can do to help. Make sure you share this video with a friend or a group of friends. And again, Friday morning magic. Every Friday morning we do a live stream. I'm talking about the 200 plus cards I just put in this binder. I'm so excited. I'm so excited I'm smacking my mic. Until next time, you guys know me. My name is Josh. Thank you so much for hanging out and we will see you around. Goodbye.